In this video, we'll be finding limits. To find the limit as x approaches some constant c of f of x, you should first try, if possible, to evaluate f of c using direct substitution. If f of c is some indeterminate form, such as division by 0, which is undefined, or infinity over infinity, etc., try to eliminate the problem algebraically or use a graph or table to estimate the limit. Now the problem that we'll be working with is we're asked to find the limit as x approaches 0 of this complex fraction. We can see that if we try direct substitution in here, we get division by 0. So what we need to do on this is to simplify the complex fraction. So I have uh, two fractions that are subtracted in the numerator. I'm going to go ahead and get a common denominator between those two fractions and then combine them. So this is still limit as x approaches 0. And for the first one, I need a 4 factor. So I'll multiply top and bottom by 4. And so now I have 4 over 4 times the quantity x plus 4. Subtract. And then for my second fraction, I need a factor of x plus 4. So I'll multiply top and bottom by x plus 4. And I have 1 times this quantity, so x plus 4 over 4 times x plus 4. And then in my denominator, I still have an x. Right. Now I have a common denominator between these two fractions, and I can go ahead and subtract them. Let me copy this. And I have 4 subtract x and then I'll need to distribute my minus to both of these terms. So 4 subtract 4, those are going to cancel. And I just have an x, and then in the bottom I have 4 times the quantity x plus 4. Now I still have a complex fraction, but what I'm going to do is multiply the top and bottom of this complex fraction, the whole thing, by 1 over x. Or you can also use the definition of division in that uh, dividing by x is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. But by doing this here, or by using the definition, these cancel and these cancel. And I'm actually now just working with the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 in the numerator and then 4 times the quantity x plus 4. And then in the bottom down here I have just 1, so I don't have to write it. Now I can use direct substitution. So this is equal to... 1 over 4 times 0 plus 4, which is 1 over 4 times 4. All right, this is a negative x that I forgot to. I mean, I said to distribute, but I didn't. So let me come up and make these corrections. This negative is distributed here. So this is actually a negative x. And then um, the x is still canceled, but I have a negative 1 here and here and here. And then 4 times 4 is 16. So my answer is a negative 1 16th.